One island, three bridges, Hong Kong's best short walks. I take two hikes between tower blocks and a port. This is Drone and Fern. Welcome to Drone and Fern. We're in the last of our short walk series. Jack's still out in Antarctica, so I'm alone on this one. It should be good. We're going to try two walks, or I'm going to try two walks. First off is Ching Yi, thanks to Rai Villaranua. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing your name right, for the recommendation. Never really thought about Ching Yi as a place to go hiking, but this one looks like it's going to be a good one. Let's get going. For this series, we're highlighting 10 stunning short walks in Hong Kong, not already covered on the show. For each episode, we take on two hikes that are easily done in half a day. Starting at the Ching Yi MTR station, I made my way down to the promenade and headed north towards the northeast park. Ching Yi lies between the New Territories and Lantau Island and has several linking highways passing through it. Most visitors to the island just see tower blocks and the port, but sitting between are two clusters of hills where you can quickly escape if you're willing to climb. I just wish Jack had been here, he'd absolutely love this. Once you leave the Northeast Park and join the Ching Yi Nature Trails, there are a myriad of paths to choose from. I headed for a small pavilion at the northern edge where you get a view over both the Ching Kao and Ching Ma bridges. From there, I hiked south past other pavilions and trig points and down to West Ching Yi Road. Well, I'm just coming to the end of the first walk. It's about six kilometers. For the second walk, I'm going to stay on Ching Yi and I'm going to be going up here. Now, this is off piece. There's nothing on my map, but I can see paths up there and it looks like a, a really nice walk. So I'm going to go and try and explore that, see how that gets me. Quick shout out to our sponsors. Osprey for the bags and to Farm Raven for the clothing. Love your stuff. Thank you so much for helping us out. Let's get going. Google Maps shows no paths on the eastern side of the road, but if you cross and walk up towards a small park, you'll find signs and maps that will lead you up to a series of three small peaks that run along a ridge above the port. I'm going to get the heart going. This is definitely the one. Once you make it to the first peak, a view over the island and beyond opens up. If you're lucky, you may even catch a glimpse of an aircraft carrier in the water below. Well, I've just been told by a hiker that if I continue along in this direction, I should get to a absolutely stunning view. He did say, though, the route was dangerous. Continuing to the third peak requires a lot more steep up and downs, but the path is good and the reward at the very end is worth the effort. Oh, and it's not dangerous. Well, we've come to the end of the walk. It's not been the brightest of days, but wow, this place has really surprised me. Ching Yi is somewhere I've been many, many times, but never thought to get off and go for a hike. Two great hikes here. Look at this view behind me. Right over the port there, and back out over to the city, right the way down the harbour. It is absolutely stunning. One of the best views I think I've ever seen in Hong Kong, and I never knew it was here. Now. If you like this show and you never want to miss an episode, please like our Facebook page on facebook.com forward slash drone and phone. You'll also find lots of other stuff there, including me and Jack's little challenge over 25 kilometers on a trail race. Also check out our YouTube channel on youtube.com forward slash drone and phone. And of course, please tell all your friends and go check out our website at droneandphone.com. There you'll find all the previous episodes nicely cataloged and a interactive map. Now this is the last in this particular series of short walks, but we had so many suggestions, we've only got about halfway through them. So we'll be doing another five episodes of short walks then. My name's DJ Clark and you've been watching Drone and Fun.